Hey, welcome back guys. So my name is Anthony Chambers. I am a real estate agent here in California. On this channel, I just talk about most things that have to do with real estate and more specifically, California real estate. And today what we're gonna talk about is how to sell your home to buy a second home or maybe just buy an additional home if you wanna keep your current home. So we're gonna talk about three different options on that. So let's go ahead and get this started. So here's the situation. Let's say that you currently own your home, you have equity in your home, but you want to buy another one, whether it's to replace this home or maybe you just want a second home. How can you go about doing that? What are the different options? So the first option that we're gonna talk about is the most obvious, probably the most common situation. And what that is, is you wanna put your current home up for sale, find a well-qualified and active buyer to purchase that home, go through escrow with them, and then once you've gone through escrow and you have been paid, you have the equity in your bank account. With that money, then you can go and go house shopping and looking for your ideal home, whatever it might be. So that is gonna be usually the longest process. And the reason for that is you're gonna go through a complete listing of your current home, and then you are going to be searching for your dream home. So you're gonna be turning from a seller into a buyer. That's usually the most common scenario. And this is a good one because once you go into the buyer market, especially if it happens to be a seller market, sellers usually want to see cash in the bank. It's ready to go. They know that you are qualified. You know you have the money to purchase their home or you have enough for the closing costs and down payment on their home. So this puts you in the strongest potential scenario for buying your second or your investment home or your replacement home. So that's the first option. The second option, if you are looking to buy a replacement home or an investment or a second home is going to be with a refinance. So with this particular situation, what's gonna happen is if you have your current home and there's enough equity in this home, you can contact your bank or your mortgage company and let them know that you want to pull money out of your house. And once that money's been deposited into your bank account, then you can go house shopping. You can look for your second home. And this is a little bit more of a lengthy process. So there's a couple of things you wanna consider with this. One is gonna be your debt to income ratio. So be sure to talk to your mortgage person that you're gonna to use to purchase your second home to make sure all the numbers line up because essentially you're gonna end up having two mortgages under your name. And what that can do is it can make your income look like you can't afford the second home. So the best person to talk to about that is gonna be your mortgage representative. They will run the potential scenarios based off of various interest rates and let you know what you qualify for with a refinance and then with a purchase. So that way you have two different mortgages. And again, this is gonna put you in a pretty strong position for your offer on the new home because the money will already be in your bank. The seller knows that you are qualified because you'll have the pre-approval based off of your debt to income ratio on your current home and the new home. And also the money for the down payment closing costs is already in your bank. There's not anything that is contingent like another sale. So again, that is the option number two. Refinance your current home, use that money to buy your second home or your investment home or your next home. So the third option is going to be buying your second home or your investment home contingent on you selling your first home. So basically with this, it's a little different than the first scenario because you are going to be a buyer first and then a seller second. In scenario one, you are a seller first, then a buyer second. So what does this mean? So what this means is you would essentially go house shopping with your agent looking for that investment property or looking for that second home or the replacement property. And then once you find that property that you like, what you're gonna do is you're gonna submit an offer to that seller. Let them know, hey, we really like your house. We wanna buy it. Here's our offer, here's our price. But the one caveat is we will buy your house as long as we can sell our current house. So if the seller decides to accept that offer, what is going to happen is you'll go under contract with the buyer, then you will be listing your home, looking for a buyer there. And then once you find a buyer, you're gonna continue escrow on your house. Once that closes, then you would close on your new house. So this one's a little bit more complicated, so be sure to talk to your real estate agent about this. One of the problems with this particular scenario is the home that you're gonna be buying, the seller who takes a look at your offer they know that 
your offer will not go through if there's any issues with you selling your home. And also it can delay the selling of their home if there's any delay selling your home. So they're contingent on each other. So this is not an ideal situation for any seller. Of course, if you can just pay them cash or purchase outright, that's gonna be the quickest way for them to get their money, not accepting an offer from you, which is contingent on you selling your home. So does this happen? Yes, absolutely, it does happen. This is a semi-typical transaction, but it's less likely that your offer is going to be accepted on the new home. And there's just a lot of different moving parts with that type of transaction. So be sure to talk to your real estate agent before you decide on how to purchase your next home. What about you? When you decided to purchase your next home, which option did you use? Be sure to leave me a comment below, let us all know, and let us know if there anything else that we should watch out for when we are purchasing a second home. Hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.